Hi, Jim Robinson, ProfitTrading.com. We're going to take a look at um, some classic price and volume action on this stock. Um, the stock gapped up on strong volume, so that told you the buyers were in control. And then the stock just kind of drifted higher, and volume actually was very low during that time. And what that tells you is it's not taking a, a lot of buying to push this stock higher. So actually, low volume can be bullish if it's at the right times. And then um, the stock came into a little peak here, and then it made four days of lower highs. Now that's what swing traders will look for, that um, three to five day pullback with lower highs. And see how volume decreased each day on that. That's just a classic swing trading pattern. And that tells you that the stock is probably coming into a low. And what you would do is you would maybe take a little nibble by the high of this and put a stop on the low. And if you would have tried it on this fourth day down on decreasing volume and everything looked good, you would have got entered at a good spot and this stock could go, you know, keep going forever, basically. And then uh, sideways action here. Volume just kind of stays sideways, too. And then now today, the stock made new highs on good volume. It doesn't have to be peak volume every time to mean that the stock's going to keep going higher just as long as the volume pattern looks good which it does on this stock everything is classic on this stock on the volume pattern so again nice strong volume on up gap up days and wide range days low volume as the stock moves up is fine decreasing volume on pullbacks strong volume on a new thrust up Sideways, you usually look for kind of sideways volume, which is this is what it did. And this new high is coming in on a strong volume day, which just when a new high comes in on strong volume, that means high, look for higher prices. And thank you for listening to my trading lesson. This is Jim Robinson, ProfitTrading.com.